Tesla cam. I hope you're satisfied. Watch what happened when Sean was driving his Tesla Model 3 with autopilot engaged down a highway in Texas. Sean took over control before crashing into the side of a Ford and being forced off the road. Luckily, he was able to stop before reaching a large ravine in front of him. Apparently, the Ford driver had decided she wanted to make an illegal U-turn on the highway from the right lane, which she proceeded to do without even checking for traffic. When the police showed up, an officer sat in the passenger seat of Sean's Tesla and watched his Tesla cam video before immediately citing the other driver. Sean had to drive back home from Texas to Wisconsin with a gash in his passenger door. The total cost of repairs was $12,000 US dollars. He wanted to shout out Marshall Auto Body in Wisconsin for fixing his car. We've got 19 more crazy Tesla stories to show you, so buckle up. Willie was driving on an access road in San Antonio, Texas when all of a sudden he noticed something weird ahead of him in the road and slammed on the brakes. Fortunately, he was able to stop in time to avoid hitting the mystery object, which turned out to be a shirtless pedestrian pushing a refrigerator. Willie isn't sure what this guy's goal was, but he called the cops and reported what he'd seen after getting home a little while later. Willie told us the fridge was then abandoned on the side of the road for days after this incident, but he has no idea what happened to the man and the fridge eventually disappeared. He can't help but wonder what could have been inside it. Loki was driving his Model 3 on I-87 in upstate New York when he noticed cars slowing down ahead of him. At first, it looked like traffic was backing up, but then he noticed that three pickup trucks had lined up next to each other. The trucks were slowing down and backing up the traffic behind them. Loki had seen the truck to the left huffing and puffing black smoke, so he suspected that the pickup drivers might have been trying to coordinate a triple coal roll. Whether coordinated or not, they all took off, farting out a cloud of dinosaur soot in the process. To be honest, we're not sure if they were actually trying to huff fumes together or if they were trying to see who had the fastest slowmobile, I mean pickup truck. Of course, we're not sure if they were racing either. You'd think they'd choose faster race cars. Either way, they lined up one more time and floored their gas pedals again. At least, I think they did. It's so hard to tell. Pete was driving over from California to Las Vegas. Another driver decided they were too important to be stuck in traffic, so they took to the shoulders, spraying everyone else with rocks and dirt and nearly causing an accident. Rob was driving his Model 3 in Minneapolis, Minnesota. It was snowing and the road was very slippery, so Rob was being slow and careful. That's when an SUV in front of him lost control and crashed into the median. It looked as if the SUV lost control even though the driver wasn't braking or turning. What do you think happened? Michael was driving his Model Y in Corpus Christi, Texas. As he approached an intersection, he entered the turn only lane, but the car in front of him drove straight through. They crashed into a turning Honda and took off its bumper cover. I think we have to call this an inverted Honda bump. Michael stopped and both the cops and the couple in the Honda were very pleased that he had footage of the accident. After showing them the video at the scene, he emailed them a copy as well. The couple in the Honda told him they're Tesla investors and hope to own a Tesla of their own someday. Davey was driving his Model 3 in Gold Coast, Queensland when another car swerved into his lane. Davey corrected and nearly lost control, but he managed to hold his lane and an accident was avoided. Davey sent this video to the cops in case they'd like to have a chat with the other driver. DJ Tanke was driving to Orlando, Florida for Thanksgiving. Autopilot was engaged when traffic started getting heavy. Suddenly, traffic in the left lane completely stopped. The Tesla's automatic emergency braking stopped the car in time to avoid a collision. The driver of the Mustang behind him was coming up fast. He took manual control to avoid being rear-ended, nearly rear-ending traffic again himself, but the automatic emergency braking engaged once more and prevented any damage from being done. Ricky was leaving his house, but he didn't get far. No, seriously, he didn't get far at all. He was slowly and carefully pulling out of his driveway, like he always does, since his view of the road is partly blocked by his fence. Ricky clarified, this road connects only four houses to the main road, so there's usually minimal traffic. 
Ricky's neighbor was looking down at his tire pressure gauge right when he started to pull out. Ricky cleared the fence only to notice him at the last moment. His neighbor had no clue Ricky was pulling out until he'd already hit him. Luckily, neither of them were injured, but both of Ricky's driver's side doors hit the brick fence next to him and were damaged. In the state of New York, Ricky's neighbor had the right of way, but since he was distracted, both drivers were found to be at fault. His repair estimate is still pending, but Ricky hopes his Tesla isn't totaled since it's an older one with the proximity sensors. He uses those to navigate the parking garage where he works, and the new Teslas don't have them. Will was driving with his son to get tacos in Port St. Lucie, Florida when a motorcyclist and a truck driver decided to race in somewhat congested traffic. The truck driver decided to take the right turn only lane only to discover it ended in a ditch. He then merged over, cut him off in the process and almost hit Will's Tesla. Sean is an Uber driver. He was driving his Model 3 with a passenger in the back seat when a trucker came up next to him and started merging over, evidently not noticing the Tesla. Sean says he couldn't tell if autopilot reacted or not, but he's pretty sure he was the one swerving and working the pedals. He doesn't want to think about what might have happened if he hadn't noticed the truck. Sean asked his Uber passenger if she'd seen that, and she said she had before giving him an extra big tip for the ride. An oncoming car lost control, bounced off a rock wall, and headed straight toward Ben's Tesla. Ben stopped after this happened and called 911. Even though he was pumped full of adrenaline, Ben says he suddenly remembered that his car had probably recorded the whole thing. Sure enough, when the state troopers arrived, he was able to show them this footage. Ben says the old lady in the other car must have had God watching over her because she was completely unharmed. Andy and his wife Sabrina were going to a Boney M concert when they witnessed this accident. A Toyota came out of nowhere and struck the BMW in front of them. The BMW driver was fine other than his thumb which was injured when his airbags deployed. Andy quickly gave the BMW driver his contact information before rushing off to the Boney M concert. I was gonna make a joke about Daddy Cool or Rivers of Babylon here, but I couldn't come up with anything. Post your jokes in the comments and take the heat off me for a change. This Model S owner was slowly backing out of his parking spot when a girl on her phone rode her bike straight into the side of his one-week-old Tesla. Luckily, she didn't fall over or get injured. Since the submitter was driving backward, according to Dutch law, he was completely at fault. He ended up paying to fix the damage himself. Two doors had to be repaired and the entire right side of the car had to be repainted. That seems like a lot of damage for such a slow-moving bike accident. Elon, no, not that Elon, was driving his Model Y down a highway in Diamond Bar, California. Traffic began piling up ahead and Autopilot applied the brakes to stop in time. The driver behind him had to brake hard to stop in time and they were successful. Sadly, the drivers behind them weren't so successful. This caused a massive pileup involving a total of four cars. Elon sent along shoutouts for Lily, Josh, Kian, and Karina. Who are all these people? How many kids does Elon have again? Brian was driving near Oil City, Louisiana and using the full self-driving beta when he came across a donkey on an evening stroll on the highway. The car was slowing down, but he disengaged FSD using the brake pedal just in case. After checking out the Model 3, something it probably doesn't see often in Oil City, it turned and trotted off on its merry way before moving to the side and politely letting Brian pass. Delta was on her morning commute when a semi-truck's tire exploded right in front of her. Luckily, she was driving defensively and had left room to the front and side of her car, and she was able to avoid impact with any of the debris. She sent along this note, always drive defensively. Not only can it save you from a repair bill or deductible, it could save your life. Patrick was sitting at a red light in Montreal, Quebec when he heard the unmistakable sound of a bump. He felt cold shivers go down his spine and feared he'd see a Honda emblem in his rearview mirror. Thankfully, he was spared this time. It turned out to be the cars in another lane instead. Submitter D was driving uphill during cold weather. A driver behind him seemed eager to go faster, so D signaled a right turn onto a side street to let them pass. When he moved over and slowed down, they swerved into the oncoming lane to go around him. That's when the icy roads caused them to lose traction. 
they swerved back into the oncoming lane to avoid hitting a parked car, only to slam into a curb. Dee proceeded safely up the hill as the accident didn't seem severe enough to cause any serious injuries. It seems like the other driver got a taste of instant justice. You can always tell a clip will be good when the submitter's name is Dave the Brave. It was early in the morning when Dave was driving to work on the highway. He decided to stick to the middle lane to avoid the snow on the side of the highway. Okay, maybe Dave isn't so brave after all, eh? Dave wanted to relax while drinking his morning coffee, so he engaged autopilot set to about 55 miles per hour. Suddenly, a car flew by in the passing lane, spraying slushy snow all over Dave's windshield. His visibility was hindered, but he wasn't too concerned since autopilot was engaged. All of a sudden, the passing car lost control. Once again, Dave calmly let autopilot handle the situation while he watched the other driver try to regain control. At one point, it looked like they might save it, but the car was determined to do its own thing and it finally ended up smashing into the barrier. Since visibility was so limited, Dave decided it wasn't safe for him to stop. Dave told us you haven't watched this video yet. Wait, how did he know? More importantly, why haven't you watched this video yet? Go on, do it, I dare you.